Hi, I'm Sean with Quest, and I would like to welcome you to a video demo that shows you how to recover an AD user using the recovery module in Active Administrator. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a manual backup of my domain. So you just click backup now and yes. And as you can see, it was successful. I'm going to pop over to my domain controller, and I have a user called Restore Test. I'm going to delete this user so we can go ahead and restore it. Now I'm going to head back to the Active Administrator console server, select the backup I just created, and now I'm going to perform the restore. This screen just tells you what your recovery options are. Now it's going to load the archive for the backup I just selected. We're going to click Find, and then we're going to search for Restore. First of the user's name, then we're going to click on the user, click OK, here you have three restore options. You can restore all attributes, only security attributes, or you can select a bunch of different attributes to restore individually. I'm going to restore them all. Here are your restore options. I'm going to restore to the DC1, and I'm going to use the default only option. It restores the specified attributes I selected in the previous screen. For the three other options, please refer to the user guide. Now you have your password restore options. You can recover the password automatically with the first option, or you can set a new password for the user objects, generate random passwords, and it shows you the password length. Here it just lets you review the summary. If you want to check the objects before you start the restore process, click Preview, and if you want to save it to a text file, click Save. Clicking Next starts the restore process. Depending on how many objects you are restoring, it can take some time. I sped up the process a little bit for the purpose of this video. And as you can see, the recovery finished and the result was a success. It recovered the one object, 33 attributes, and no errors. Now let's go back to the domain controller. I'm going to select the user's OU. And then you can see the restore test user is there again. It's been successfully restored. From all of us here at Quest, we thank you for taking the time to watch this video and there will be many more to come. To learn more about Active Administrator, visit us online.